Hey guys, this is Justin with the Elite Group. I've been in real estate for over 15 years and have successfully negotiated and closed over a thousand short sale and bank repo transactions. In this video, we're going to be looking at one of my more favorite questions, which is, can I sell the home to my friend? And the reason for this question is years ago, homeowners figured out that the banks were not willing to do principal reductions. Um, a lot of times they weren't even willing to reduce the monthly payment by enough to really help out the homeowner. So what these homeowners figured out was if they were willing, if the bank was willing to do a short sell and sell it for market value, um, they could use a straw buyer, a friend, a family member, a cousin, something like that, and in essence have that person buy their home from them, allow them to stay in the house. They would pay rent, which equaled the new mortgage payment, which is half of what they were paying before. And in three, four years down the line, uh, their friend or family member would add them to title. So in essence, what they did was a, a creative loan modification where they cut their payment by half and cut the amount that they owed on the loan, uh, probably by half, down to what the market value was. Uh, it took the banks not too long to figure out what people were doing and what they did in response was they created an affidavit that the buyer, the seller, the listing agent, and the selling agent all have to sign now that basically states the buyer and the seller don't know each other, that there's no agreements outside of what's been disclosed in the contract, and that the seller will not remain in the property after the close of escrow. At the end of the day, with that new affidavit, it makes it very difficult to use the excuse that, you know, we did not know. And from my standpoint, again, going back to the original question, can I sell the home to my friend? The answer is yes. Um, but the reality is, should you? Probably not. The risk uh, from where I'm sitting at just seems like it's way too great. If the bank were to find out that you had basically you know, sold it to your friend and family and stayed in the home, um, the way that they're going to view it, and unfortunately the way that the federal government views it, is as mortgage fraud. Um, so the other part of that is if, if that be the case and I put the utilities under my cousin's name and do this and that, how will they find out? The answer, um, I think what they're going to do is go back through title records for the next two to five to ten years and basically look for any reoccurrences of the debtor's name that they forgave on the debt showing back up on title. If it does, that's going to be a huge red flag. So. Again, answer to the question is, should you do a sell, a short sell, and sell it to your friend or family member? Probably not. If you have a family member or friend that's willing to buy a house for you, my suggestion is buy the house down the street. And as long as the address is different, then you've kind of taken the risk out of it and you don't have that cloud hanging over your head. You know, a short sell is a great option if you guys are behind on your payments or if you are upside down on your mortgage. Um, what we've done is we've actually put together 10 video modules to kind of guide you through and educate you as to the process that you can expect with a short sell, a foreclosure, or with a loan modification. The great thing is these videos are free. All you have to do is basically raise your hand and we'll be happy to send them to you. Um, you can go to your, our website, which is www.easyshortsellprocess.com. Again, it's www.easyshortsellprocess.com. Fill in a short questionnaire and we'll send you the first video today. So thanks again for listening and uh, we'll see you on the next video.